What's up everybody, Arctic Platypus here, and we're going to go right into this video on progression in Battlefield 1. What's wrong with it? What needs to be fixed? Let's com we're going to compare it to Battlefield 4. Let's go right into um, what the hell is going on in Battlefield 1. What's the progression system like? So you have metals, codex entries, dog tags. The metals are a weekly system where you have multiple... Um, requirements per for completing each metal and you have to complete them in a series you have five metals per week track one at a time and then that's pretty much it there's only 34 of those dog tags you get dog tags for those metals so that's kind of out of the equation you rank up and that's just that's expected pretty much all these games you can rank up in there's some more that just kind of bullshit um you can get 100 kills with each weapon to get some more dog tags. That's pretty much the extent of the progression in Battlefield 1. Now if we go over to Battlefield 4, you can see there's assignments and there's awards. The awards, in my opinion, aren't essential. I mean, they're kind of cool. You can see, I mean, it's based on the ribbon system. And ribbons basically are based on really small tasks. Like... Getting six kills with shotguns, for example, gives you one ribbon, and then your ribbons kind of add up, and you eventually get a medal. I think it's actually kind of a cool system, but not essential. I would say they could keep in their current weekly medal system, and they don't have to add back these awards. Although if they want to, that, I, I would, that would be a welcome addition, in my opinion. There's also dog tags in Battlefield 4, like in Battlefield 1. However, there's way more. I mean, I'm not going to really count these 250 different country whatever's flag type things is going on here doesn't really matter to me that's kind of just i mean you don't unlock those that's not a sense of progression over here there's some progression that these are based these are some of the assignments represented and there's also some more assignments represented on the right hand side and there's way more dog tags on the right hand side i mean look at that that's a hella load of fucking <laughs> wow that's a lot okay so I'm not going to go through all these. There's some more assignment ones on the top. There's some premium assignments. Or dog tags, that's not really progression. Um, exclusive promotions, not progression. Medals. This is kind of just connecting to the metal system, so kind of irrelevant. Then here's where you see a vast difference between Battlefield 1 and Battlefield 4. For these mastery dog tags, it's 500 kills per weapon rather than 100. You can see that's much harder to do. I have three guns that I did this with. Battlefield 1, since it's only up to 100 kills, I have 23 weapons I did that with. So, vast difference there in the dog tag department. Vehicles, too. And then there's also service stars, you know. There's missions. That's kind of cool. These were from community missions that I probably never did. And, I don't know, it just... That's kind of a small system, the dog tags. It's not that small, though. I mean, it's pretty pretty vast. But then over the assignments, this is the primary component that is missing in Battlefield 1. I mean, look at all these assignments. And if you look at each task, it takes way more time. You have to reach a certain rank. There's prerequisites. And... The assignments themselves take much longer. The bronze ones don't take quite so long. But the <laughs> the silver ones take quite a bit longer. I mean, look at that. I just I Look at this one in particular. 25 kills with 5 different weapons. That's way more complex than the weekly systems, which are designed for completing them in a timely manner. With these assignments in Battlefield 4... Especially the gold ones, which look, I've barely completed any of them. I've completed three. Look at that. That's ridiculous. I'm pretty close to some of them. But I haven't even started some of them. I mean, these are such a valuable uh, system for the progression in Battlefield games. I mean, there always have been these lengthy assignments. And there's nothing like that in Battlefield 1. I mean, look at the premium assignments. These things are massive. And then 
phantom assignments. If you didn't know about phantom assignments, these were a great community experience where you, it was an Easter egg hunt that finally led to specific, um, codes you had to type into a console and then you unlocked these assignments and these assignments take it a very long time. It's insane. I mean, 25 road kills, that took a good chunk of time. 20 kills on a jet, for me, that was very tr very challenging. 200 kills with pistols, if you're playing on normal conquest servers, not if you're just playing with all weapons allowed, that takes a while too. These things are challenging. I haven't even finished the last Phantom assignment. But they're so much fun. There's a, It's a, such an incentive to keep playing the game and just work towards something. It's a goal to work towards. The more you have of these, the better the experience is. I mean, there's just so much to do in this game, and then you look over at Battlefield 1, it's been out for a month. I already have more completed than I do in Battlefield 4, which has been out for three years, and I have 330 hours on. And by the way, this 74 hours is wrong on Battlefield 1, so I actually have more like 100, but still, that's a third of the time, and I already have like double the stuff completed. It's ridiculous. I mean, there's just... I don't think I could ever finish every single thing in Battlefield 4. Well, I mean, that's a lie. I could, because I never really focused on the assignment system too much. And that brings me to another, another thing. All these assignments are possible to be worked on simultaneously. I mean, they're all always active. So if I were to get an, an attack help helicopter medal, I don't have to track it for it to actually make progress towards this assignment. It's really cool. I mean, it's just, I don't see why they would ditch such a valuable system, you know? And I think my, the solution to this is literally just add assignments back into Battlefield 1. Um, keep, they can keep their weekly system, keep the dog tags and the codex entries, which I kind of forgot to go over. The codex entries are just kind of simple, get like, five kills per weapon, 10 kills per weapon, vehicles, like 10 kills, 15 kills, stuff like that. There's some single player ones, and pretty basic stuff right there. I mean, it's, there's not that much, just completely add a new area here for assignments. Have, I don't know, 100 or 200 of those, or add more with premium like they did in Battlefield 4. Just give people something to work towards that take much longer than a weekly metal system. I'm fine with having a weekly metal system. It's kind of cool. It's something else to work for. But I'd much rather have lengthy assignments that actually mean something way more valuable to me and to most players, I would assume. And most most people don't seem to really care too much about these the lack of assignments. I mean, I don't know how they're going to implement these new awesome things without this system. We've already seen with Battlefest that some of the missions for obtaining rewards were implemented very poorly. There was no way to track what you were doing if they just added a simple assignment for Battlefest and then having rewards like a dog tag. They wouldn't need to manually give out the dog tags. People would all get their stuff. They'd know how far they were towards getting that stuff for Battlefest, like the weapon skin, the PTFO weapon skin, and just the simple dog tag. And I still haven't even received my dog tag. If it was just an assignment, that would simplify everything. It's easier for them, it's easier for us, it's better. All I have to say, just freaking bring back assignments. Come on, like, what is this? Well, that's pretty much all I have to say, guys, kind of a rant. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, please leave your feedback below of do you think they should add back assignments, and uh, do you think they shouldn't? If if you think they shouldn't, I would kind of like to hear what well, why you think that. And uh, thank you so much for watching, have a fantastic day!